Hey everybody, welcome back to another video of mine. Um, this is just an update video. I've had a few of you guys ask me um, what's going on with my situation with joining the Air Force Reserves. Um, so I guess I can finally kind of talk to you guys about this. Um, I apologize if I sound like super, super tired. It's, I'm tired. <laughs> um, it's been a long week. My, uh, my stepmom, unfortunately, uh, is sick well, got sick, and she's in the emergency, well, she's in uh, intensive care right now. Um, she doesn't have coronavirus or anything. It was uh, more of a heart attack that she had, so, oh, uh, we're, um, you know, she's, she went through surgery, and it, it went great, but um, I've been super stressed out about that, and then um, also, uh, I'm supposed to be going camping right now, but as you can see, I'm not camping. I'm home. <laughs> um, my uh, my girlfriend uh, has a really bad migraine sometimes, and when they hit, she she can't do anything. It kills her. It, like literally, she cannot do anything. So <clears throat> we came home. We're probably going back up tomorrow, but we'll see how she feels. Um, if not, it's fine. I mean, at least we get to relax. That's that's all I really want <laughs> is to relax. Um, but anyways, um, so I've been pretty busy. Um, that's probably why I haven't really uploaded a video this week except for this one and I'm actually editing another one. Oh, I don't see the cable management back there <laughs> but <clears throat> we're gonna be working on that anyways uh, another reason why I haven't done a video on an update on my Air Force uh, journey is just because I haven't really heard anything about my journey Whiskey tip. <clears throat> yeah it's kinda dog kennels are usually right there but uh, they're not there right now because, like I said, we went camping. We took the kennels down there, so they're still up in the mountain. <laughs> not the dogs, but the kennels. The dogs are in the backyard. Um, we just took them home with us and left the kennels. Anyways, um, so I still haven't heard anything back about my um, Air Force stuff, really. They still haven't given me dates, or if they have, my um, sergeant hasn't told me exactly what uh what my dates are just yet which is completely fine because it just in a way is better this way so i'm not so you know freaked out like oh my gosh you have like 45 days until you know i have to leave for basic and i don't have to freak out like that um right now <laughs> of course there'll become a time where i will have that where i have to like you know go and count my days but uh right now we're good <clears throat> and i still haven't gone to a uta yet um, I think it's UTA. Yeah, UTA, um, which is a monthly uh, drill, I guess. I guess that's what uh, the Army calls it, drills. Um, you just go up to your base once a month, you know, to do your once a month training. Um, they call them drills, but for us, they're, I guess they're called UTAs. And, um, yeah, I'm, uh, I have one coming up June 6th. So I'll be going up on the 6th, uh, which is like two weeks from now, a week, two weeks. Yeah, about two weeks. Sorry, I had to look at my calendar down here. Um, but yeah, so I'll be going to that. And maybe I'll get some more information down there. I will also do a video on a UTA for you guys. So you know, like if you do join the Air Force Reserves that what you're going to experience may be similar to what I'm experiencing now. Um, again, just keep in mind, the pandemic is still a thing, uh, so the base is still kind of open, but it's not at the same time. Um, they've opened it up a little bit, obviously, because now they're having these UTAs, but um, I'll be going in, and they uh, they gave me like a sheet saying what I need to do and what I need to wear and all that good stuff. So I don't know if you guys saw my post. I put a post on here on the story line thing and it showed my uh air force reserves uh shirt that i got when i enlisted apparently i have to wear that except it's supposed to be long sleeve mine's not long sleeve so i'm gonna have to talk to my sergeant about that and see what he uh what he thinks on that because i don't want to go in there and just wear it and then them <laughs> yelling at me because apparently they they are serious like even though you're not in basic training they teach you like you're in basic training. So they act just like you're in basic training in a way. They're not super MTI status, but they are, you know, stern and like be on time. If you're not in time, you're in trouble. Like apparently some guy did that last time they had a UTA. 
and uh, it seemed like he got chewed out really bad because like we're in a group chat and so I was being weird and looking through the previous chat and trying to see what the heck I need to do for this UTA and I saw that one dude came in late to the UTA on Saturday morning and got chewed out like through text everybody saw it and I was like mmm oh boy <laughs> So be on time, guys. At least try to. And if there's some reason you can't, like, contact them and let them know. Um, <laughs> it's just so sad. That guy seemed to get chewed out so bad. Anyways, but yeah, so like I said, I don't have any um, dates yet for shipment to ship out. <sighs> I'm still hoping it's going to be next month, or I guess it's almost this month, huh? It's the end of May. I was hoping it was going to be June or July. Yeah, it's the hottest time of the season to go, but, you know, I want to get it over with before Christmas. Um, but that might not be the case. I might have to be there for Christmas, depending on, you know, how many people are going to allow to go in there. Um, it's, it's a terrible time to do any kind of basic training right now. Um, at least I feel like it is because they don't give you the whole experience. I've told you guys this before. Um, basic training has completely changed. You have to be six feet apart from everybody. You know, um, I don't know how the showering is like. I'm guessing it's somewhat similar to that, like six feet apart. And then, uh, also, you know, there's, um, the gas chamber. They don't do that anymore, so I don't get to experience that. I don't experience, uh, full beast week. I guess they shaved it down to half, I think, or they just took it out completely. One of the two. <clears throat> so that's not cool. Beast week, I've heard, is the best time for everybody in basic because they get excited. Um, it's like mock deployment, but uh, yeah, so that's another thing. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I'll let you know more when things come up. Like with my UTA, I'll do a whole video on that <clears throat> to let you guys know what to experience. Uh... I wish I had more information for you guys. I really, I'm kind of in the dark here. They haven't really gave me any, you know, any information. They're just like, hey, you're in the Air Force Reserves. Good luck. Figure your stuff out yourself. And I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll figure things out somehow, I guess. Um, uh, this week, I was supposed to go up to New York. New York City to uh, just go visit because this was going to be my last vacation with my girlfriend before I was supposedly going to be shipping off to, you know, Lachlan, but Lachlan, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, the whole pandemic screwed everything up. So we're camping, but what can you do? Um, yeah, I honestly don't have much to tell you on that, but, uh, just keep in mind that, you know, I'll update you guys every time I have some kind of update news. Um, yeah, I'm just, I don't have much for you. Uh, for UTAs, <clears throat> you'll, uh, someone will contact you. You know, let's say you just joined the Air Force Reserve. You just enlisted, and now what? Now what happens? It takes about two weeks for somebody to contact you with the training reserves group. Um... I don't know exactly what they're called, but it's like a, it's a group of trainees that are still waiting to go to basic, but they still have to get trained for basic, if that makes sense. Like, the reserves is weird. They like, weird. They're weird. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it takes about two weeks for someone to actually contact you, and then once they do, they'll say, hey, I'm sergeant, master sergeant, or tech sergeant, don't say tech, technical sergeant, or something else, you know, <clears throat> and I'm part of the training wing group, and then they'll say, please download, you know, this app, or I had to download an app and use an app, because that's how the group chat worked, but uh, yours may, your experience might be different be between your bases, I'm not quite sure, but... Yeah, so, um, and then after that, you're pretty much, um, emailed to, like, if they have updates for you on, like, they had an update about the coronavirus when I first joined, well, first got introduced to this, uh, training wing, 
Um, they sent me an email with like saying what we need to do to avoid coronavirus before we ship out and things like that. They'll also email you when the next UTA is to give you like an instruction guide of where you're going to meet, um, you know, all that good stuff. They're going to give you all your information usually. And if it doesn't give you, like I said, my long sleeve shirt, I can't wear a long sleeve shirt because I don't have one that they gave me. So I'm going to have to talk to somebody about that, probably my sergeant, <clears throat> and just be like, hey, bro, I don't have one. What do I do? Do you want me to still wear the short sleeve or do I need to wear a long sleeve of a blank t-shirt? like, Or not t-shirt, but blank long sleeve. So, yeah, I mean, you're always able to text them and email them. My, my uh, sergeant has been very um, responsive when it comes to questions that I had. Uh, like I asked him, hey, have you heard anything back about my um, my ship dates? Have you like I put it back in uh, March? And he said that uh, he didn't hear anything, but it, once he did, he would definitely tell me. I'd be the first one to know. So, I mean, <clears throat> they're pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna end this video. Nothing too crazy. I need to edit some videos and then probably go to bed because I'm exhausted. Sleeping in the tent last night was not, it was terrible. <laughs> um, for some reason, people like to drive up to the tent with their brights on. And then, you know, you got dogs barking and whining. And then you have kids in the really buttfuck of the morning just at your campsite. Like, we have water by our campsite, so they're playing in the water, okay? And I understand it. Like, when I was a kid, I was like, oh, well, let's just go down the whole creek and see what it's like, you know? And there's, like, a pool area by our campsite, so I'm guessing they were playing in that area. I will take pictures and videos for you guys, so you know what I'm talking about. It's really pretty there. Oh, I love that place. But, um, yeah, so I didn't have a good sleep last night, so I'm tired. We're gonna probably go sleep. Uh, alrighty, well... I hope this answers some of your guys' questions. Um, let me know what you guys think about the Air Force Reserves. Is there any of you guys out there that are like National Air National Guard? Or if you guys are like, I don't know, regular active duty? Did you guys have to do anything like this? Like, or is it just, just reserves? Like, I don't even know. There's people outside. How awkward. Anyways, I love you guys. I will let you know more when I know more. <sighs> Stay amazing. And there goes my dogs. Bye. <laughs> I gotta go kick some ass. <laughs>